Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to give you a first look at Adobe Photoshop CC for 2015 and some new noise options for the blur gallery effects. Let's take a look. Here I've got this great looking uh, lily here on, you know, on the water, and it's got a little bit of depth of field here where it starts to get blurry out towards the edges, but I want to add a little bit more to it, and I want to give it kind of a film grain effect. So let's go up to our filter menu, come down to Blur Gallery, and we'll use the Iris Blur, which has been there. And now we'll just go ahead and move this. Oops, didn't want to make a second one. There we go. We'll go ahead and move this in place. And we'll contract it in and move it just around the flower itself. And of course, the great thing about this interface is you can dial it up right here on the interface to kind of make everything else go even more out of focus or less out of focus, totally up to you. But now that I've got this effect in place, and again, I can keep uh, working with constraining this to just the flower, um, one of the things I can do now is there's a brand new, normally you'd be on the effects panel, there's a brand new noise panel uh, that's been applied to the blur gallery uh, effects. So I can just go here and just add grain. Just add noise to this. And it's only doing it for the part that's blurred not the part that's not blurred. So it transitions out and gives me more noise. Now I'm going to exaggerate it here just so you can see it on the video. Uh, that's way more noise than I would want. That looks like low ISO noise, but just adding a little bit of that noise only in the blurry areas can give you a more artistic, more realistic film look to your um, blur gallery. And that's the whole point is that when you're applying these filters, you want it to look real. You want this to look like this was really uh, shot with this lens that would give it this effect. And one of the ways of doing that is applying noise to it to give it this kind of green or film look to it. So it's there as an option. You don't have to do it, of course. And of course you can do um, Gaussian, uniform or grain. It defaults to grain because I think that makes more sense uh, for the kind of effects that we're doing here with the blur gallery. Once you're happy with it, click OK that will render it out and because i did convert the photo to a smart object first it or smart for smart filters first it is there uh, for me to turn on turn off so i can see the before and after that's the before that's the after adding just that little hint of noise in the, in the blurry areas and if i ever want to get back to it i just double click and i'm right back to those same settings so that gives me the ability to do this non-destructively so check out the noise option in the Blur Gallery effects, new in Photoshop CC for 2015. Take care and we'll catch you on the next one.